Alright, this is the new Mux Shield from Mayhew Labs. It allows you to expand the Arduino to have 48 analog inputs instead of the usual 6. So I wanted to come up with a project that would use all 48 of these analog inputs and thought back to an email that Josh had sent out a while back about somebody who had made some musical stairs. That email thread quickly escalated into things that would be awesome to have in our office. So if you've ever been into SparkFun, you've noticed our front desk has some arcade buttons on them. These buttons play MP3 files by connecting an Arduino to processing and playing an MP3. So I thought it couldn't be too difficult to adapt this into some musical stairs. So I went to one of our stairways and counted the stairs. And what do you know, there were 12 steps on each flight. It's perfect. Essentially, I could have two analog inputs per stair. First things first, I had to figure out what kind of sensor I would use. I decided to use the mini photocells because they're cheap and pretty easy to use. So I got out a breadboard and wired up 24 mini photocells and resistors so that I can test the concept. Then I loaded up the Mux Shield example that you could find on MayhewLabs.com. I modified the example code so that it would send all the analog values on one line, separated by commas. The next step was to modify the existing processing code to parse the data coming in from the Arduino, and then display a rectangle with a light value. The next step was to write in some sort of calibration so that you could take a default reading and compare it to a covered reading. So now whenever the light is covered, it plays a corresponding mp3 file. Now to wire everything up. We started by measuring out all the analog input wires. It was also really important to label every single wire so that we didn't get it mixed up. The next step was to take a whole bunch of resistors and mini photocells, attach them together, and prepare them to be put on the railing. We stripped a little bit of the wire off the power and ground lines every foot or so so that we could attach the sensors. Then we soldered on all the sensors and wrapped them up, and then put everything back into the railing. And then it was time to test it. It makes sounds. <laughs> awesome sound. So you may have noticed that we're only using 24 of the inputs out of the 48. I thought it'd be better to leave the extra 24 inputs for somebody else to try and make something. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I can't wait to see what you guys use the Muck Shield for.